Okay, welcome back to uh, EFAB, uh, our, uh, our expo. You know, hopefully we had slight technical uh, difficulties, so our apologies. Uh, my name is Kevin Kilgallen. Uh, you know, we're hoping you're getting a lot of good ideas uh, f to help improve your business. Our next uh, um, booth that we're going to visit on our virtual trade show is uh, featuring C.R. Onsrud. And uh, C.R. Onsrud makes, uh, I would say, uh, the finest uh, uh, CNC routers uh, in the world. They're based in Troutman, North Carolina. Everything from uh, three axis to five axis uh, routers to open up your business. If you are processing wood, metal, uh, if you're using water jets, uh, lasers, plasmas, this can give you another alternative to, uh, uh, you know, f to do 3D processing, beveling, even milling pockets. So at this point, we'd like to turn it over to uh, Brent Warren with uh, Sierra Onsrud. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I'm Brent Warren, Regional Sales Manager for CR Onsrud. And uh, today we're going to have a presentation. Um, one of my colleagues, Thomas Tuck, is be, going to be doing the presentation. And then at the end of the uh, presentation and some videos uh, uh, will be coming back to me and I'll ha have some time for a few uh, questions. Uh, so with that, uh, we'll go ahead and start with, uh, with Thomas's presentation. All right. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Thomas Tuck. I'm one of the regional managers here at CR Onsrud. Um, so today we're going to talk uh, a little bit about CR Onsrud, some of the CNC routers and machining center technologies that uh, we manufacture in Troutman, North Carolina, and review a couple applications, materials, and different types of uh, equipment you may be familiar with, uh, just in comparison. Uh, to educate you a little bit about uh, CNC and some of the advantages that may be able to bring your business. So introduction to CR Onsrud. Uh, we are a family owned and operated company uh, since 1915. Uh, we've made industrial machine tools since then um, that varied from copy routers to pin routers, NC controlled routers, machining centers, CNC routers, um, and we're most well known for today our CNC routers and our CNC machining centers. Uh, we're located in Troutman, North Carolina on a 160,000 square foot manufacturing campus. Uh, and what we do is build tailored uh, CNC solutions uh, built to order to meet the specific needs, goals, requirements, and vision for each customer. Uh, we're known for using high-end components uh, such as FANUC controls, uh, reliability, and our focused, uh, proactive, and tailored service approach for technical support. So we're going to talk a little bit about aluminum sheet processing, plate processing, adding versatility, and how to incorporate that. Uh, so when processing flat sheets uh, or plate on a water jet, plasma, laser, CNC router, CNC mill can be used, but you know, what is the difference? We'll dive a little bit into that. If you already have a water jet, for example, instead of buying a second one, um, we'll dive into a little bit maybe why it be, would be beneficial to consider a CNC router or a CNC mill from Sierra Onsrud. Uh, and if that versatility or uh, edge quality, for example, is important in your manufacturing. Uh, how a CNC router and machining center can improve that production, finish quality, and at a lower cost of operation. And what are the different types and styles of CNC routers and machining centers that we manufacture? So we're going to talk about aluminum, sheet, metal, plate processing, and adding versatility and incorporating that into your business. So if you're a manufacturer and you're uh, producing flat sheets, uh, you may be using a, a water jet, a plasma, a laser, CNC router, or CNC mill. And so we're going to talk about the difference of those and how that may be beneficial. Uh, if you already have a water jet, or you know, for example, or, or a plasma, uh, instead of buying a second one as you're growing, you know, why would you consider adding a CNC router uh, for the versatility in your manufacturing? So I'll highlight a little, a little bit on that and how a CNC router can also improve production and finish quality. Uh, at a lower cost of operation, and what are the different types and styles of CNC routers in machining centers? So traditional aluminum fabrication equipment, uh, here we have an example of a laser, uh, a water jet, and a plasma. So we're going to highlight a little bit on the, on the laser first. Uh, so there's two types of lasers, you have CO2 and fiber. Um, and these are most commonly used for materials of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. So we're going to use an example of 3 8 thick aluminum. Um, so to, to machine this or to produce this on a laser, you'd need approximately a 3,000 watt uh, system. And this would approximately cut uh, at a speed of 50 inches per minute. 
So some pros and cons of a laser. So you have high uh, material yield due to the thin uh, cut curve, uh, capable of intricate shapes and small holes. So you can see an example of that here. Uh, some cons may be that uh, it's a high initial investment, um, medium to high cost of operation uh, at uh, $2.25 or $2.25 in consumables per hour and about $44 in nitrogen. Uh, you can really only use it for processing uh, metal and uh, it's not always that the edge quality is great. So water jet. Um, so water jets are very popular. Uh, there's, there's two types of water jets. Uh, you have abrasive and pure water uh, materials. Uh, you can cut just about anything. So for some harder or thicker materials, you may need to incorporate uh, garnet, for example. Um, and in the process comparison, 3H thick aluminum, uh, 60,000 uh, PSI. Uh, you can have uh, roughly uh, processes at roughly 27 inches per minute. Pros and cons of a water jet, uh, you have no heat to affect the work zone. Um, you're able to cut just about anything in terms of material. Uh, however, you have a lot of variation in the edge quality that you would achieve, the speed that you can achieve those cuts at, high operational cost uh, for the consumables uh, we mentioned earlier, and uh, traditionally you have tapered edges. Uh, so just to kind of give you some visuals of what we're talking about with the water jet in terms of tapered edges uh, in the stream lag, here you have a visual uh, showing the water jet nozzle, the material you're cutting, the tapered angle and the distance, um, and then you have the V-shaped taper as well uh, and the material that you're cutting. So uh, it's not always just a clean through cut. And with the, the stream lag, um, you, know, you have a little bit of a rough uh, edge uh, to deal with as well. So plasma, and, and we have a plasma here at CR Onsert as well to cut a lot of our thicker steel. So it uh, can be a great system uh, for uh, the material um, when needed. Uh, however, you know, there's um, not a lot of uh, additional materials that you can, you can use a, a plasma for. So you have two types. You have high definition and conventional. Uh, the main materials are ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Uh, and again, in that comparison, 3-8 thick aluminum, high definition with a, about 130 amp process, you're approximately 60 inches per minute. Pros and cons of a plasma, uh, low initial investment. Uh, you have low cost of operation, consumables and gases, uh, and compared to some of the others we, we discussed. You have faster cutting speeds. Um, and uh, some cons are uh, that, um, you know, the cut quality in aluminum is not great. Uh, you have a dross, which requires a second, uh, secondary operation. Uh, the angularity in the cut, uh, or sometimes a limitation of such, um, the whole concentricity, excuse me, and a wide curve. So I'm comparing those two advantages of a CNC router. Uh, here we have some parts that uh, we actually use CNC routers at Onsrude to cut some of our aluminum components as well, such as a tool changer or some brackets. Uh, so you have uh, no rounding. You can or you can get rounding, but if you need a square edge, it, it's not round. It's a uh, it's a great um, um, quality of edge. Uh, better edge finish, a lot of versatility in material that we'll talk about later. Uh, pocketing, so not uh, machining all the way through uh, the uh, workpiece. Drilling and tapping holes, low cost of operation. So there's a lot of uh, flexibility and um, uh, operations that can be incorporated onto one machine. So we're going to talk a little bit about CNC routers. So here we have a moving gantry flat table and we have a moving table flat table, so depending on the application productivity, um, we may uh, suggest a moving gantry or moving table. These are available in three, four, and five axis. So how does it work? Uh, so for flatter material, we utilize vacuum to secure the plate and sheet uh, using CFM and pressure to, to hold that in place. Uh, when it's not flat or maybe an extrusion, for example, you can use mechanical clamps or fixtures to secure the parts. Uh, we utilize CAD CAM programming to uh, generate the nest and the yield, um, but also to identify uh, which tool and, uh, and what feed rates and RPMs that we're going to be machining uh, with that tool. Uh, a lot of flexibility materials from wooden plastics to composites, aluminum and more. And uh, our example uh, comparison uh, with a three flute cutter uh, over 16,000 RPM, uh, you have an approximate cutting speed of 220 inches per minute. So comparing, uh, comparing these uh, different types of technologies for aluminum application, uh, 3 8 thick material, uh, laser, uh, 50 inches per minute, water jet, 27 inches per minute, plasma, 
60 inches per minute and CNC router 220 inches per minute with uh, the, the biggest difference not only being the speed but the finish quality uh, that is uh, you're able to achieve. Alright so let's talk a little bit about the different types of CMC machines. So we have uh, some examples here uh, moving gantry flat table 3-axis M-series um, moving table uh, flat table 3-axis C-series this particular uh, model has uh, uh, two spindles a moving table 5-axis hybrid mill uh, with an enclosure and a moving gantry 5-axis EX series used for linear profile extrusions and other types of uh, material. So a flat table CNC uh, is a 3-axis uh, CNC router so you have your X, your Y, and your Z with the option for a 4th-axis or C-axis uh, so for horizontal machining. Uh, we have various types of table sizes from 4x8 to 5x10, 5x12 all the way up to uh, 12 feet by 90 feet. Um, which we do a lot for the aluminum uh, shipbuilding industry. Various types of uh, tables, you have vacuum hold down as primary, uh, so that's used for plate processing or sheet uh, panels. Uh, you can also get mechanical hold down fixturing or T-slots uh, or have a lot of versatility in having both with a multi-function grid table, so a combination of uh, flat sheet nesting with vacuum and the ability to use fixtures. Uh, Spindle horsepower, 12 up to 33 horsepower uh, is typical in 3-axis with the ability for more as well. A uh, higher RPM, up to 24,000 RPM spindle, so we can achieve a high chip load. That's how we're able to uh, uh, achieve the, uh, the, the speed uh, of processing that 3-8 thick aluminum we mentioned earlier. Uh, Z-stroke, so for up to a, about a 4-inch thick panel uh, or plate of material, uh, that would be adequate uh, with the ability to have higher Z-strokes uh, if needed for a thicker material or um, individual components like a, an extrusion. Um, 12, uh, 10 or 12 position tool changer depending on the model is kind of standard with the ability to add more on most of our models. Some other aspects of a flat table CNC. Um, just in general all of our equipment is FEA uh, designed uh, frame and construction. Uh, again we're building all that here in uh, Troutman, North Carolina high-end control and components of uh, FANUC and it's not just the controller it's the servos, the drives, the encoders, the cabling. Uh, it's a complete system to give our customers the best performance and reliability. Um, wide range of materials and applications. Uh, aluminum, sheets and plate, plastic sheets or plastic blocks uh, using a vacuum hold down or, or maybe a fixture, uh, composite foam and aluminum composite panels known as ACM, plywood, uh, various types of wood, uh, OSB, High pressure laminates, MDF or, or multi density fiberboard, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, solid wood, uh, rubber, foam, and uh, in most cases, all of these materials can be machined uh, on one or the same type of CNC. So here's a brief video example of uh, one of our most popular models uh, called the M series. So here we're uh, nesting out some wood, plastic, uh, aluminum, and some ACM panels. It's our most popular model because uh, it's a very compact, affordable solution uh, with a lot of rigidity, a lot of flexibility for different types of materials, different types of setups. Um, it's available at one of the quicker lead times uh, for us as well. Uh, most common uh, table size is a 5 by 12. Um, so um, going through uh, the next couple of slides, we'll look at some different types of CNC 3-axis uh, uh, applications and then dive a little bit more into 5-axis. So in, in sheet nesting, um, for aluminum sheets, uh, we're going to use the vacuum hold down. Uh, so this allows us to compact uh, parts into a nest, creating great yield. Uh, you can have a lot of variation in operations from pocketing, drilling and tapping holes, countersinking, beveling, chamfering, through machining uh, with a high RPM spindle. So you can see an example of uh, some of those um, various operations in the parts to your left, um, countersink and drilling and tapping holes with a uh, pocket. Um, and uh, this is our M-series uh, machining this uh, 3 8 thick aluminum sheet uh, all in one pass uh, at a great um, finish quality in the end. So in looking at more parts per cycle, uh, if we can reduce the change over time, um, we can create more parts uh, per shift. So if you have a larger work envelope, a CNC router, uh, this particular part example, uh, you can have 14 parts on the CNC uh, compared to one or two on the bed of a mill. 
So uh, after the cutting is done and complete of each cycle, we have to uh, offload or uh, unload and then reload. And so the more that we can reduce that, the more parts per shift. So having more parts per table will allow you to achieve more productivity, more production per shift with a greater ROI. Some examples of these parts um, may be uh, some aluminum components you see for the aerospace industry, uh, transportation, uh, grading for a bus, uh, for ventilation, um, and again, more parts per table. So the example you see to the bottom left uh, is a 5x10 uh, machine with uh, 14 parts, or it could be a moving table where you have maybe a fixture needed and you can have four parts per table, pendulum processing, so four parts per cycle, while the other table you have the ability to offload and reload of the table. So a couple of three-axis uh, application examples uh, in aluminum, uh, so a lot of uh, sheet and, and plate nesting, uh, producing molds and tooling, um, processing extrusions, uh, ACM and curtain wall for the construction industry. Um, so various industries could be for boat and marine, fabrication shops, automotive and transportation, aerospace, and building and construction. So here's a couple examples of each of those. So we have some kit parts uh, from an aerospace company, allow you to build your, uh, build your own plane at home. Uh, we have some molds and tooling, uh, some extrusions for the flooring of a, a transportation or, or a box truck, uh, ACM and curtain wall, and the automotive um, uh, venting I mentioned earlier, and some aerospace uh, individual components. The marine and aerospace industry are very popular for us because of that uh, quality of finish, that speed, and that reliability of machine. So whether it's a fishing uh, boat or a pontoon uh, or even a, uh, a, a plane that you could build at home uh, and produce your own um, in your garage, um, a lot of customers turn to us for that, uh, that speed and reliability and the excellent finish quality of the edges. Uh, cargo, trailer, and transportation. So here we have a, a box truck uh, for transporting, uh, you know, could be Amazon or UPS uh, delivering packages, um, you know, a, a toy hauler or a, or a cargo a utility trailer, um, flatbed transportation trucks, a lot of aluminum components in there. Uh, here's an example of a, a three-axis machine set up with a lot of extrusions uh, that they're processing. And here's an example of a kind of a, a aluminum composite panel. Could be the sidewall of an RV or uh, the side of uh, maybe that utility trailer. Electric vehicle or automotive applications. This is a battery tray. Uh, so these uh, sheets are nested out on uh, three axis CR Onzer routers. Um, and so you can see here some of those operations that we're able to achieve on a CNC that you can't with a laser plasma or water jet. Uh, again, all with a fast uh, process of operation and uh, excellent finish quality uh, for reducing the chatter, deburring, um, and that secondary process that you may have to take place without using a router. Uh, here's an example of a uh, three-axis application on a C on an E series. Uh, this is an aluminum, steel, and stainless uh, air conditioner panel uh, for the big commercial uh, AC units you see on top of buildings. Um, so this is a one millimeter thick, uh, it could be aluminum, um, steel or stainless um, sandwich panel. So you have, um, you have a sheet on top, a sheet on the bottom, and in between you have a foam core uh, for uh, kind of the, um, um, well, keeping the panel lightweight, but also keeping in the, uh, the uh, cool or, or heat, you know, if it's a, it could also be maybe a, um, a box truck, like a refrigeration truck, for example. Um, so one example of, where the customer previously was using a water jet. Uh, the edge quality was not very good. Uh, this is about a two to two and a half thick inch panel. Um, and we were able to increase their productivity from 50 inches a minute on the water jet to 60 inches per minute on the CNC with better finish quality uh, of the panel as well. So this machine is using uh, vacuum. Uh, it's elevated on pods to allow the heat uh, to be uh, reduced as well as for chips and dust to be evacuated. Um, so vacuum on pods uh, with referencing uh, to our zero zero point. Um, so this particular machine is a moving table, a fixed bridge solution, uh, three axis um, with a 24 horsepower spindle operating at uh, up to 24,000 
inches, uh, excuse me, 24,000 RPM. Uh, you also have the ability on a CNC for dust and chip collection uh, to keep the uh, workshop and uh, working in you know, production floor environment uh, cleaner. Some other examples of 3-axis applications in plastics, um, sheet nesting. So uh, we have a lot of uh, variation, a lot of different customers making individual components, uh, nesting out con entire sheet goods uh, for, uh, you know, cutting boards, uh, plastic protrusions, signs and lettering, uh, graphics, uh, uh, conveyors uh, in the industries of boat marine, fabrication shops, uh, food processing, um, automotive, uh, material handling, aerospace. Um, so here are some examples of a, of a marine um, uh, a, a box, a, a marine box, uh, the, the white uh, uh, image you see there, some cutting boards, a general nest uh, for plastic sheets, uh, outdoor plastic, outdoor furniture, and the uh, food conveyors and material handling uh, industries as well. Okay, stop. All right, so in the five axis world, um, there's various types of, of CNC uh, machines, machining centers that we manufacture as well. So in your five axis, you have uh, X, Y, Z, A, and C. Uh, so that could be for three plus two machining, of just horizontal machining, or for inter uh, full interpolation. Um, could also be integrated with a fourth or C axis option for additional horizontal machining operations, or maybe achieving machining underneath a part if it's elevated. Uh, so table sizes are anywhere from a four by four to five by 10, 6 by 12 all the way up to 20 foot by 90 foot plus uh, vacuum styles, uh, table styles could be vacuum, mechanical, or T-slot. Uh, just as we do in a 3-axis, a lot of flexibility depending on uh, your specific needs. Uh, horsepower, uh, 12 horsepower up to 75 are kind of the most common, um, somewhere in that range, up to 24,000 RPM spindle for, again, the high chip load. Z-axis uh, would start out about 15 inches all the way up to a 10 feet if you want to machine a large aerospace a composite component or, or maybe uh, you know, a, a boat a marine plug, for example. Uh, and they're great solutions for uh, aluminum, plastic, composites, steel, and wood. A couple different types of CNC. Uh, we have the moving table and the moving gantry. So a lot of these can be used for just individual components, extrusions, um, larger components, larger work envelope uh, machining requirements, plastic trimming, uh, and in the industries of auto, uh, tr you know, transportation and automotive, uh, aerospace, curtain wall, glazing, aluminum extrusions. So here's a different, uh, couple different examples of those uh, from uh, linear profile extrusions to molds, plastic trimming, uh, and uh, this is a, this last part is a, uh, an automotive uh, extrusion uh, for the transportation industry. So one example of a five-axis five application is a, 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 a transportation or a truck um, a bumper. So machining out the different slots and holes uh, for the lights or uh, construction um, through holes uh, for assembly. This particular machine uh, is, a, is a moving table, um, five-axis CNC with a, uh, a, a fixture or work holding. Uh, that we designed and created for this uh, for this customer. So this was uh, definitely a good example of a dedicated, um, uh, tailored solution that we designed and engineered for this customer's specific requirements, um, productivity, uh, footprint. And here's another example of where you could have a smaller component on table maybe two, and that larger component still on table one for that pendulum processing, that added productivity, more parts per shift. Uh, so this is a, another uh, segment or, or a, another extrusion uh, that they're machining for uh, the trailer bumper, and together is a complete assembly. Uh, our X series and our EX series are uh, two very popular solutions for us uh, for uh, automotive and transportation industries, aerospace, uh, curtain wall, glazing, uh, window and doors, uh, aluminum window and doors. Uh, so you have the flexibility of a saw blade to size uh, extrusions uh, with servo position clamps. So you can separate those uh, individual components after sizing uh, to have uh, full, um, uh, all six space uh, machining ability as well. Uh, 
or you can use the saw blade to um, machine in specific angles or recesses, um, flanges, you know, machine down a flange, things of that nature. Um, so great solution for lineal processing, extrusions, um, even uh, other applications and materials such as fiberglass or even maybe a wood beam. Um, so up next we're going to have um, a kind of an overview of CR Onsrud uh, with a, uh, a video to allow you guys to fully understand our factory, uh, some of the machine examples we talked about as well as highlight some other ones and kind of get to know us a little bit better. Um, and then we will have uh, an opportunity for some question and answer uh, with one of my colleagues. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in to this uh, presentation of CR Onsrud and CNC Routers and Machining Centers in the fabrication environment. All right, thank you so much, Brent and Thomas. That was a great presentation. Um, we do have a few questions from the customers. The first one is, what brand of spindle do you guys use? We use uh, HSD uh, spindles. Uh, it's a world leading uh, producer of uh, spindles, okay. CNC spindles uh, for CNC routers and CNC machining centers. Uh, 12 horsepower all the way up to 75 horsepower, um, up to 24,000 RPM spindles. Okay, great. Thank you. And the next question we have here. Okay, how does the vacuum hold down work? This is from a customer in Virginia. Okay, so vacuum hold down, our, our tables uh, it can be a flat table or it can be uh, uh, vacuum fixtures or vacuum pods, uh, but the, there's a vacuum pump that pulls uh, a vacuum uh, and it on the flat panel uh, applications, it pulls it through a spool board, which is a porous surface uh, material such as LDF or MDF and it pulls a vacuum, a strong vacuum through there. It will hold the parts down. Uh, if you have flat parts, uh, it will hold them down without any need for clamping or any other type of uh, mechanical pull down. Uh, uh, dedicated fixtures, vacuum fixtures, or uh, pods, uh, also using the vacuum pump can hold down, hold pieces uh, on the table, uh, especially when you're using like uh, five axis processing. Okay, great. And unfortunately, this is the last question because it's all we have time for. If we did not get to your question, we'll make sure Brent gets them. Um, but what is the biggest table you can make? The biggest table? Yes. We've made, uh, on our G-Series, we've made uh, 12, 12 feet wide by up to 90 feet. Probably can go even longer than that. Uh, but we've also manufacture uh, even larger machining centers uh, in our high rail uh, series uh, where we can go about 20 feet wide and really as long as, uh, as the customer needs. So very, very large envelopes uh, we're capable of doing. Okay, great. Thank you so much.
Um, All right, great. Well, thank you, Brent. Thank you, Thomas, everybody who tuned in. Um, you will get a link at the end of this webinar to um, set up a time to speak with Brent about your specific applications if you would like to do that. But we, we really appreciate all your time. And um, our next webinar we have to get ready for is um, Geeka Ironworker. So thanks all. And thank you, Brent. Thank you.